My name's Chris English and I'm the principal of the Richard Gill School. So the Richard Gill School will be an independent, secular primary school opening to kindergarten to year two next year. It's different because it has a musical focus and we're going to start each day with a musical activity for the students. We're also going to put an emphasis on physical education and STEM education. Richard Gill was a prominent music education advocate and the school is going to be guided by his philosophies around music education. It's proven that learning music from a young age can help the cognitive development of young people and this supports their learning across all subject areas. We're talking about the way in which children in a lesson contribute to the lesson with ideas. And that can start from where it goes. Children can start to invent patterns very early. And this business of pattern making is really important in the creative process because they identify that there is a pattern. That's the organised part of my definition of music. So when they listen and they learn to discriminate and they perceive, those perceptions are capable of undergoing change. So this growth that comes in thinking and imagination in music is powerful. Hi, my name's Jason Foy and I'm lucky enough to be a Foundation Board member for the Richard Gill School. Uh, the board is made up of a lot of really passionate um, members. So through conversations amongst the board members, we actually found out that all of us had been um, involved with Richard or Richard uh, has had an impact on our life in some way uh, in the past, whether it be through him being a, a teacher or running workshops or even having indirect impacts through some of the things he's run and um, put together through his life. Uh, we are extremely lucky to have the experience that comes with a, the chair of our board, Kim Williams. He has been a lifelong friend of Richard Gill and was even a student of his when he went to school. Uh, Kim continues to have close contact with Richard Gill's family, which has ensured that they've been able to have really good input into the philosophy and have more input going forward. The board sees its main aim as sustaining Richard's philosophy and vision for music education in Australia. The Musselbrookshire Council Administration Building presents many unique opportunities and challenges in its conversion to a school. The existing building can be divided into two distinct zones, defined by the building's structural grid. The radial grid, which is suitable to house the communal spaces, and the perpendicular grid, that's more in line with educational functions. These two zones can be considered representative of music education the irregular, free-form nature of music and the regular, structured nature of education. The proposal is to utilise the existing radial geometry of the building to bring together the different functions of the school around its core communal spaces, the main performance hall, the library and the school reception. The conversion of the building is proposed to be staged to allow the school to grow with the student population. Over a period of five years, the existing building will be converted to eventually allow for a school population of approximately 150 students and 10 staff. A master plan has been developed for the site to eventually allow the school to grow to include years 7 to 12. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I'm here today to talk about why I'd like to send my child to Richard Gill School. I think a small school will really suit my daughter as she is very musically focused at home already. When looking at other independent schools, I find the fees at Richard Gill School more affordable. I'm excited by the approach Richard Gill School is taking towards education through music. I'm Mary Tolson and I'm the Administration Support Officer at the school. I will be your first point of contact if you email or ring the school regarding enrolment or any other queries you may have. I look forward to meeting and welcoming all our new families to the school for the 2021 year. My name's Fiona Plissman and I'm the General Manager at Musselbrookshire Council. STEM education, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths, uh, is a, a curriculum which uh, encourages children and others um, to, to focus 
on the areas of science, technology, engineering and maths in an innovative way, in a, an imaginative way if you like. Council's investing in STEM education by partnering with the Richard Gill School to have a, a STEM educator who will be focusing on science, technology, engineering and maths curriculum uh, three days a week with the Richard Gill School and also working across the Shire with other primary schools who choose to partner with Council. Albert Einstein once said that imagination was more important than knowledge. What we're looking for with this STEM education program is to bring together the creativity that the Richard Gill School will bring with music and arts and combine that with um, science, engineering, uh, maths uh, and technology uh, to create new and imaginative things, uh, to open children's minds up uh, to a broader future. It's all linked to Council's goal to, to transform and have a more diverse economy into the future. That uh, doesn't exclude coal, but it's more than coal and coal-fired power. Other industries, new industries that haven't yet been imagined. We're really excited to have over 20 families from Newcastle, from Singleton and Musselbrook interested in enrolling their child at Richard Gill School next year. Now is the time to get in touch so that we know who is enrolling and we can continue planning for 2021. Give your child the most extraordinary education at Richard Gill School.